Boyd is rocking about his Meet the Bands. Tonight, we've got Mike Boyd and one secret person, and Chris Raymond. I'm Stephen Christopher, and this is Carol Andrews live at the Dead Board. And here we go. What's kind of cool about this? And this song here is actually the thing of it. It's the last big band song from the World War II era. Okay? So it's just zoom, right? And it was also from the movie The Big Mouth. No, not The Big Mouth. Um, the Nutty Professor. Jerry Lewis. No, not you. We have ourselves an interesting half hour coming up. But um, anyway, but Jerry Lewis did this weird dance to it at the end of The Nutty Professor, the original Nutty Professor. And uh, it's, it's an odd movie. You have to kind of watch it. You, you kind of, Jerry, Jerry Lewis's movies kind of grow on you. But um, and that's what I got the song from. And uh, It's a good song. Yeah. This is the uh, Buddy Bergman, Bregman. I'm sorry, Bregman version of it. And uh, they have uh, a few other versions that go out. Um, there's actually a big down with this that does it. Anyway. It's a nice song. It's, yeah. a nice, it's a nice lead. The only thing I'm missing is the top half of K, but four on that. Four on that. Yeah. Last night. Last night was great. Yes. Really good. I, 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 it's cool watching James develop. That's true. Yes, I will agree with that. And that's the whole purpose of, of Rockies. It's it's to let these guys develop. I mean, right over here we got Mike Boy, he's a teacher for the school of rock. And this is like one of the things that we're gonna we, you know we'll talk about that later. But rock youth is about developing artists. And true. we've seen that. I mean you gotta start somewhere. Right. And you have to grow. Yeah, yeah. And that's what this kid's doing. He's doing a really good job. If you don't you end up, you know, driving a truck. Oh, yeah. Well, no, I think you can't just take it. It takes time. Right. And then you've got the experience. There's other kids that started. They, once I got them dialed in, because their whole setup was weird, and, the, and uh, what you call it? They had a lot of equipment for a uh, little five piece band. Yeah, that, that synthesizer was really giving them a hard time. Right? Something was with the uh, computer, they got a tone from somewhere, couldn't find it. I don't know what's going on, but, um, but they were excellent. I think they were. I think over, overall we got over 600 hits or something. Last time we had 600 hits with them. But here's the cool part, okay? Just to show you how much people appreciate what rock youth is all about. You know, intelligent people look at that and they say, we know that this is about kids coming forward. We know that this is developing, uh, developing talent. So intelligent people will look at that and will say, hey, this is what this is all about. 2,500 hits on that. Wow. Mm -hmm. 2,500 hits. And I, you know, and, and the bottom line is that you really don't have to like it. No, it's you, like, don't, you don't have to even like that music, but if you're into music at all, you can at least appreciate that, yes, they do have talent. Yeah. And yes, they do have something to show and to prove to other people. Uh, unless you're incredibly narrow-minded and only like one type of music, right? And everything else stinks. Then I feel sorry for that person because there's a lot out there. Oh yeah, I mean when Blind Choice came on and he said that they're doing uh, what is that? What is your style? Hip hop or grunge? Come on, oh god! <laughs> they called it. They called it Intimate Arena. Well, but it was good. It was good. It was good. Yeah, it was, it was like Blind Choice. You know, Blind Choice. I'm talking about one of the Oh, okay, that's not in the main arena. And, no. And I thought, what's this going to be like? You know, and I've learned that, you know, just because there's a title on it doesn't mean I'm not going to, and I've learned to like a lot of different things. And we have, like, down when we go down to the uh, LBMA and stuff like that, you have a wide variety of music coming in there. And it's a broad taste. And there's no narrow mindedness, there's no judgmental stuff. People don't have to be no, a lot of fools yeah, exactly. to sit there and make Tonight stupid judgments. Tonight we have a perfect example of, yeah. of different styles of music. Tonight we're going to be a, a and great... And you stink, so get off the stage. 
Yeah, no, no, no. It's not his music. It's his Andy Kirschberg. I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. So he, I saw him earlier putting on his Andy Kirschberg, and I wasn't his Andy Kirschberg. I was rubbing a fish. So cool. Yeah, I, I, I asked him. I said, "What are you doing?" He says, "I'm doing my scales." So let's move forward. All right. Let's, I'm going to work this guy. Let's stop down and let this guy go. Oh, Jesus. Let this guy go. That's going to give me a hat up. <laughs> hey, Steve. What? Have you heard the guy was out there ice fishing? And he <laughs> wasn't catching anything. There's an old guy a little further down the road. He's pulling up fish after fish after fish. The guy talks to him and said, Hey, sir. What's your secret? He goes, <laughs> What? <laughs> Keep your words warm. Oh, you <laughs> people eat them, guy. <laughs> How you doing, my friend? Pretty good. Suck yourself, man. Yeah. I gotta tell you, I went ice fishing one time. And you, yeah. and you fell in? No, oh. I caught two pounds of ice ice cubes. So, anyway. Um, <laughs> you caught five pounds of two, two pound bags. Yeah, that's it. Watch where you're stepping, man. I have a problem here. Right? Yeah, 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 it's called walking. Yeah, I can't. Piece well, of gum, you, you got to get rid of those, those cheese, Jake, those Jake, cheese, 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 cheese. Well, I start wearing those things. Are they engineered boots or cowboy boots? No, these are cow patty boots. You know why I can tell? Because after you get done walking, you got to wrap them. No, they're, they're, and the stuff's on the outside. And you've and you got the little cockroach killers in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> this is Chris Raymond, okay? <laughs> I promised myself that we're going to lose ourselves for each other here on this. We're gonna I didn't lose it. You lost it. Yes. That's we're, that's we're good at it. Okay. I got GPS. We're good. Except my GPS has a female voice, and when she gets mad, she gets she, it's more it's more pants. How does it? Oh my God! How does it sound? She goes, Turn now! I love the ones. Why don't you stop asking for directions? Why don't you stop asking for directions? Why don't you stop asking for directions? Last chance, guys. Here, okay. So we did some stuff, and yes. we're gonna uh, hear some more country and western things tonight. So just give me a. You're Chris Raymond, you do country and western, you, you, you play some of the big boys too, have you? I, I play with some big boys. I play with Alabama. Uh, in 1985, I was in Alabama, 24-hour 24 24 week tour. Um, usually when you are the opening act, you get the worst accommodations going. You usually get like the men's room. is your dress room. Especially if you're a woman. So one, one night we were getting ready to go on, but we're opening up for Alabama. And Randy Owen, who, if anyone doesn't know, is the lead singer of Alabama. He goes, grab your stuff and come with me. And I thought, oh, we just got fired. But the remainder of the tour, you either use our tour bus or our hotel suite. And if anyone says anything, you tell them Randy Owen said so. And I thought that was the classiest thing. And Randy, I just want to say thank you again many years ago. Every year we do the uh, St. Jude telethon, which is something that St. Jude was started by uh, Marlo Thomas, which is Danny Thomas, who's uh, the original one started. Marlo Thomas is running it now. And what St. Jude does is families that can't afford to stay with their kids are flown out to uh, Tennessee, Memphis, Tennessee, and, and they basically pay for everything. Wow. If they can't afford the hospital bills, they pay for everything. So St. Jude really helps people. Shriners is also a very good uh, charity for that. Where I'm from, we have a, a charity called Hugs for Brady. I've been doing this since 2009, so that's about eight years. Uh, Sherry Wells lost her, her first trial, Brady, to cancer. Sorry. Sorry. And <clears throat> my mom was diagnosed that week. And she asked me if I would do an opening show for her to raise money for books for Brady. And I said, absolutely. And it was almost like serendipity. There was a reason why I was supposed to meet her. And for eight years, we've been doing it the holiday lights in December. We're going to do it again. So just remember there are people out there who really, really need your help. And we're not talking a lot of money. We're talking five dollars, ten dollars, whatever you can afford. Now, now I feel like I'm on PBS here. <laughs> you're fine, we're working Please send us money or we're going to turn the channel off. <laughs> Side, you the sidebar. Have you ever seen the uh, Lonesome Pine specials on PBS? Yes, I have. They're great. I'd love to do a show like that one day. Okay, let's let's cut you loose though. What right. song you want to do first? Well, we're gonna do a song with the new CD. The new CD is called Honky Tonk Around Tonight. But the song we're gonna do right now, this is the perfect AA. Or is that triple A? I always get those two mixed up. AA is the alcohol one, triple A they come fix your tire. And it's a song called I Ain't Got No Drinking Problem. Alright, here we go.
It's supposed to go. It's coming. Yeah. You gotta wait for it. That's what she said. <laughs> you gotta love modern technology. Ain't got no dream to proud. I got it all figured out. Just a foot in a cup and a drink it out of well, it's so cold now. I ain't got no drink bar. So hard on my plan. My baby crazy now and then. I'm as fool as old man. I ain't got no drink. Regrouped, 
Uh, we got some wonderful people playing on it. I mentioned last show that Gary Oliar, who was logging to Messina's uh, fiddle player, he's on it. Um, it's a lot of great, great, great performances on the album. We're going to do a song from the earlier Secret Service band. The gentleman wants to buy you a drink. If the gentleman wants to buy me a drink, make it a big one. I'll take a Southern Comfort on the rocks. But I told you I ain't got no drinking problem. And the song we're going to do is a song called Love Changes. This was off one of the Secret Service band's uh, first albums. Uh, we had three with Secret Service and I did two solo albums, so still trying to get it right. So we do Love Changes, we want the AMI version. For those of you who know what AMI is, that's... Ah, we got it. It was already played up here, so it looks like I do have that version. You do have that version? If I don't, we'll pull crap. AMI, what it is. All right, we'll see what it is. Okay. Can you tell right away if it's the right part? Oh, I can tell right away, baby. Okay. That's what she said. Here we go. <laughs> Wrong one. That's all right. Yeah. AMI is the other one. Yeah. It says low changes. Dash AMI. The other AMI. Well, hey, there it is. Thank you. That's when I had a higher voice. And now I sound like Darth Vader, Luke, on the old father. I stay alive! Look at you as I face the dawn. Oh, 
Myers on saxophone. Steve right now is touring with uh, the B Street Band, which is a Chris Springsteen tribute band. And I've known Steve Myers for about 20 or 30 years. We played many years ago in a band together. Oh man, I love this country. You ask for things and they bring you things. I like that. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Oh boy, is that smooth. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be a long drive tonight. Oh, man. How are you doing, my friend? I leave you speechless. I tell you. You do. You do. You can do it. He has no idea what he got himself into. All poor Steve did was pick up the phone. <laughs> he said, Yeah, we do this thing over the jet port over by Lehigh Valley Airport. I said, That's funny. I didn't know Lehigh had a port airport. And they do. You used to have one runway, now up to two. Yes, both going the opposite directions. We call it the Kamikaze Airport. Hey, I have a question for you, Stevie. Why did Kamikaze pilots wear crash helmets? What's the point? <laughs> I got another question for you, Stevie. Go ahead and get to that one. Why does sour cream have an expiration date? What's it going to get? Good? That's true, yeah. <laughs> or, yeah it gets worse. It turns into cottage cheese, yes. <laughs> or as I like to call my house, a science experiment. There you go. I have you with that. I tell you, I have, I, I have no problem that there's a wonderful thing when you open up the refrigerator and you reach in and it's an empty plate. God, that starts me wondering. Did something eat something else? Maybe the olives ate the tuna. Maybe that chicken isn't really dead yet. I picture a little mouse with gloves and a parka on, you know, just waiting for the lights to go. All right, we're going to do, do a song from the new album. It's called Four More I Don't Need. Uh, this was basically a working man's anthem song. Uh, and working women's anthem song. And it's also a testament to birth control. I've got four kids, I don't, four more I don't need. <laughs> wait. Wait, that's what she wait. said. There are four more of you? Four more I don't need. Yeah, we're going to put our own little band together. I like that. Yes. And, I, and I actually have four children too, so that means the world's in trouble. How's your wife and my kids? Well, no, I, <laughs> I'm happily unmarried. So. You're happily divorced is what you want. <laughs> You ever notice that people are, there's no such thing as unhappily divorced, it's always happily divorced. That's when you're still getting child support. Yeah, you know, you know, you know what alimony is, right? Gas in your, your wife's girl boyfriend's car. <laughs> Just play. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, I believe one more I believe got. in money, alimony. Here we go. Four more I don't need. Thank you. 
Working the day shift, night shift, and everything in between. Taking my pay and I ain't on street. I got family to fall, fall I don't need. I got family to fall, fall I don't need. on this next song. I'm always there with my mom. When my mom passed away, I was holding her hand in Florida. And uh, I immediately had to find a place to put all these emotions. And I didn't know where to put them. I was so overwhelmed. I picked up my guitar and I wrote this song. And I'm hoping that anyone who's experienced a loss, whether it be a a parent or a child, which is obviously the worst loss you can ever have, is the loss of a child. Um, just gotta remember that uh, they're not gone, they're on the other side waiting for you. I'm always there. You weren't paying attention. Paul knows what the song is. I love my man Paul. You gotta get Paul a raise, put him on the roof. I love my man Paul. Superman. There you go. I'm ready when you are. And now I wait. <laughs> Oh, I 